Welcome to week 11. We're going to finish up poetry this week and talk about a few more poems. Uh, in terms of the reading assignments for this week, I have some links to poems for you to read. They represent a really wide range of styles so that you can see kind of some other things that people are doing in contemporary poetry as well as the past. Then we're going to take those poems and practice compare and contrast. Here are pictures of all the writers of the poems. So you can see there's sort of a wide range of time periods and um, yeah definitely this one isn't even a photograph, it's just a drawing. <laughs> um, so I hope that you enjoy seeing all these different styles of poetry this week and then continue to practice comparing and contrasting different poems in terms of one poetic element. You're going to turn in your rough draft for the comparison and contrast essay this week, so make sure you review your outline and any comments I've made on it. You want your rough draft to be a minimum of two full pages, so to the very bottom line of page two or actually onto page three. And your final draft is going to be three to four pages, so if you have a little more in you, you know, do the three pages and I can give you more feedback then. And then that's it for this week. So um, this week's a little bit lighter. I'm going to kind of take it easy. I know I've been killing you guys with the quizzes. So, um, and just looking ahead um, for the rest of the semester, next week we're going to start talking about plays a little bit and you'll revise your essay. Um, we'll continue to talk about drama um, in week 13. Then we'll get ready for the final exam and you'll take the final exam. So we are almost to the finish line. If you have any questions about this week's work, let me know.